gold and silver yet again traded bullish with the US inflation data and the FOMC minutes. In fact, gold has gone close to the previous highs that on the near term highs at 2032. It has gone till towards 2029. At the same time, silver is running with its winning streak. It has gone past 2560, 2570 zone. So now what to expect? in gold and silver today which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis this is the first update for the day second update will be released before the us session do watch that also let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end do listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the levels here first let's have a look at the early charts now see gold has shown a very good swing and just couple of candles it has erased the gains and completely but at the same time failed to break below 2000 levels which is a critical support for now and this is also psychological number and gold if it stays below 2000 certainly possibly we may see bearishness if you look at the early charts the moving averages are divergent and are looking bullish as of now the support right now is at 20 13 levels so i'll recommend if you see it uh, trading below 2013 rather those who want to take a safe entry because below 2013 it is 2007 levels and till uh, 2008 2004 zone rather i will say it's a very strong support zone for gold once it breaks below 2004 you can expect that there could be break further but right now it is trying to sustain right now it is trying to stay bullish above those levels hence you can sell here at 2013-2012 levels however be cautious of 2008-2004 zone and in this zone either you have to book profits or you have to you know keep a trailing stop loss such that if gold reverses from those levels your trade closes in profit so be cautious with the shorts till 2004-2000 levels be cautious there now that is for the sell side now on the buy side remember once again uh 2021 is the level above little more bullishness can be seen so what it has done see the rise here retracement see this this swing if you eliminate it is almost back to 2021 levels which is the next support resistance zone it has to sustain about 2021 in order to confirm a rise and then beyond that same 24 32 levels will be seen again see the stochastic on the early charts is overbought the MACD is trying to trade with divergence trying to trade bullish rsi is flat here not indicative of anything and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour chart see uh, again the moving averages started to diverge second thing is it diverged from the moving averages have come down to this now again trying to diverge and now see to 2010 levels which is the uh, next support level that is why i say you can sell at uh, 2013 2012 levels however be watchful and cautious the next targets at 2008 and 2004 are going to be a very strong support zone and if you look at the stochastic this is seen rising the MACD is in green trading with very little divergence slope here slope here is different indicates that the bullishness is there however not the bullishness of uh, what we had seen with the rally out there previously RSI almost trading flat there and if you look at three R charts on the three R charts too, similar is the observation there it has completed the journey till here now retracement and now see again looking upwards However, see uh, 1980, 1990, 2000. So it has created the basis in every $10. Now it is trying to create the base at 2010. So this is something you should note. Also on the super trend, it has generated a buy signal here. It is trading with divergence. And for the day support at 2008, 2004 is going to stay important. The stock stick which has dropped a bit and now again trying to look up first. The MACD is still divergent bullish. It has crossed over here. It is trading in green. It is still in uh, buy side. RSI trying to trade with slight bullish bias. And if you look at 4 hour chart. Now see on the 4 hour chart. See the first super trend is still on sell till 2021. And in fact it has to stay above consistently. Close the candles above. Such that this uh, super trend generates a buy signal. Right now it is still in sell. That is first part. Second part is the. Yes, it is trading uh, with divergence from 20, 50, 100 period moving average. Even if it gets a pullback, see this zone is going to play a very important role. And that is why I say till 2008, 2004, be watchful, then 1998. And below that, we are going to look forward to a crash there. Right now, what it is trying to do, 2021, giving it a very strong resistance. Yes, about 2021, you can buy. However, remember the facts, see lower highs are seen. It means 20, 25, 20. 32 zone is something where it is going to find the resistance for 
itself. A stochastic rising, the MACD divergent and bullish RSI trying to look upwards. And if you look at daily chart, now see uh, on the daily chart, the previous candle is left with a wick there, and that is why we can see a flat opening and it's still trying to rise, probably lower highs, which means 2025, 2028. So, so if you are buying at 2021, you have to be watchful there. At the same time, remember the fact it has given a flat opening there, so it may try to at least cover up this, at least try to form a tail and this means that it can try to uh, draw below 2015 levels at some point of time and then try to come down till here. So uh, there is a possibility for that too and hence you can sell there at 2013 levels. Also at the same time now look at the daily charts here. See most importantly higher lows are seen that is fine but the slope here is diminishing this is a squeeze this is a flag there but this is trying to squeeze it and possibly uh, this has to break below 1980 in order to confirm the bearishness. Still, the time possible it is still bullish. The stock stick is seen rising. The MACD is flat near to the top there, and RSI is also flat. Considering this, as I said, the levels I have mentioned 2021, 2013, and largely till 2032 and till 1998. This is the zone where you have to exercise caution. The resistance and supports I have already told you. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at silver. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship badge. The 21st badge starts on 17th of April. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now look at silver on the early chart. See, uh, again, look at the divergence there. It has started to diverge the support. And there is always a probability. See, whenever it starts to diverge, it always come down to the support levels. It has started to diverge. It may try to come down to the support levels 2040 very good support at 2040 and the resistance at 2060 now see why you do you see this black line i will show you why this black line is there and this is present in my chart since long those who watch my weekly analysis definitely must be knowing this and see precisely it has gone close to these levels and retrace from there so can it break beyond those levels let's see a stochastic overbought looking down the macd is in green trying to converge here rsi is flat near to top and if you look at 2-hour charts, see on the 2-hour charts again, possibility of it to come down till towards 2040-2030. See, uh, it has to break this zone in order to confirm the bearishness, which means $25 and 2480 levels. This is the zone it needs to break. Then only you should consider that it is trying to trade bearish. Right now, see all the moving averages looking upwards. This is bullish sign. At the same time, you can find out 2560 is certainly a good resistance. So 2560, 2540, do not take any trade for this 20 cents. Below 2540, you can expect 2530, 2520, and then $25 at the maximum support. A stock I stick looking up, MACD, trading with little divergence and is still bullish. RSI almost flat. And if you look at 3R charts on the 3R charts too, similarly, see the rise there, Garland. And now almost higher highs here, near to the top line of the channel, now trying to retrace. So uh, same level, same zone, 2040, 2060, do not trade. The stock ISTIC is looking up. The MACD is trading with little divergence, trading slightly bullish. RSI is flat, near to top. And if you look at 4-hour charts, now see why crossovers are important. See, this crossover happened here on uh, 13th March. And uh, since then, it is just trading bullish here and see how many hours how many candles it is consistently traded bullish and see the divergence here divergent indicates uh, divergence indicates bullishness and it has to completely break below this in order to confirm the long-term bearish trend see in fact it is failing to break below the 25 period average itself 20 period average itself which is right now at 25 20 levels now if you look at the 4 hour charts too, higher highs are seen, higher lows are seen, trying to create a channel of its own. 2520 is going to remain a very good support, 2520, 2510 and then 25, these are going to remain the next support levels. The stock stick is rising, the MACD again crossed over divergent and bullish, RSI very near to the top. Look at the daily charts now, on the daily charts too, see this crossover happening here. At this point, this crossover has happened. This is trading with extreme divergence, extreme bullishness. And you can say the candles are also now far above from the 
moving average is now $24 levels is something which is going to be a difficult level for silver to break but it does not mean that it can not come till here yes it will try to come some point of time till 24 before looking forward to an upward journey and uh, maybe uh, it can stress this a bit take it further up and then uh, converge there is a possibility now look at the daily charts see uh, consolidated here couple of green candles top of this channel and this is let me show you this is the channel in which I am talking about now see it has completed its journey from here till here the lower end of the channel and now to the extremes of the channel can we expect the next uh, journey till 22 uh, let's see if it gives a breakout any move about 2580 should be considered very seriously beyond that definitely we will see it flying a stock stochastic is certainly extremely overbought MACD is at its high here it is gone till towards plus 100 levels only very little incidences we have seen in past where it has reached this level the RSI is extremely overbought hence uh, there is always a little possibility of a retracement yes from here possibly 2540 20 very good support exists there till 2480 we have got extreme good supports on silver only and only if it draws below 2480 for the bearishness will uh, take it down till that time we have to be watchful we have to be cautious buy at 2560 sell at 2540 on the upside 2580 is the next resistance 2570 2580 above which it will fly and on the downside we know that the support levels are far below till 2480 you have to put a trailing stop loss Take your trades accordingly. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship batch and signals channel. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email ID are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.